the back seat, remove the carpet right here. There is a twist lock, twist that, and then slide this out of the way. Make sure the seat is all the way back, and then grab this trim piece and just pull straight up. There's some locks that hold it down. Pin right there. Use a T20 socket, remove this screw. And grab this cover, slide it up and outwards. Use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up the negative terminal. Grab the connection and just slide it out of the way. Take this nut off right here, use an 18 millimeter socket. Now I'm just gonna take a block of wood and underneath the oil pan, just support the engine right here. There's not a lot of weight. There is two other mounts holding the engine and transmission up. So just take a little bit of the pressure off the mount. There's two bolts right here and there's two more up here. You wanna take those off, one on this side and then one you really can't see. You're gonna to have to go in through here to access it. Use a 15 millimeter socket to take these out. Now with a longer extension, I'm going to loosen that top one and just use magnet, grab that bolt. There's a nut on the top of this mount that we need to remove. It's not the easiest to remove right now. Ideally, before you took any of these other bolts out, you want to take that nut off from up top. You're going to have to use a long extension. Take that off. That's going to save you some time. That's not going to jeopardize anything with supporting the engine. The engine will just sit there just fine. So we're going to take that off now. Use an 18 millimeter socket. We're just going to slide the gun up through here. It's still a decent amount of room in here. so It's not impossible. It would just be easier to do it before. And take the nut off. And you can separate the mount from the bracket. Slide the mount out. And the bracket. When you're looking at the bottom of the mount, keep in mind there is a little tab to index it. So if you're looking at it from the front of the vehicle, this is gonna be the front. That tab is gonna be towards the passenger side. Now this mount is gonna slide in position. This little cover is gonna go over the top of the mount like that. And just slide it up. And get the mount in position and then the bracket on top. Just like that. Now get all the bolts started for the bracket. And tighten these all down. Make sure you snug them all up. Now you can see in here, if you just spin the mount, be careful in case there's pressure on it and get that tab to line up right in that slot. And that's good. At this point, we can lower the engine down.
At this point, put the nuts on. And tighten it down. And then if you want to get this other nut from up top, you can, or try to do it from underneath like this. Just like we took it out. There we go. Now I'll reconnect the battery. And snug this down. Make sure this is not loose. Put the cover on. And the screw. Tighten the screw down. And just line this up. Lock it down and put the carpet in place. And then you can twist the lock. 